All right, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be the first episode of Cooking with Truxy, okay? So I did say in my last video that I might start doing some cooking videos because I've had to start cooking now that I'm out of my parents' house, which I wish they would have made me start cooking earlier because it's kind of fun. So we're gonna start doing some cooking and uh, we'll see how that goes. So today, it's breakfast time. It's like, it's like 10.30. And uh, I think we're gonna make some eggs. Just some scrambled eggs start off real easy, you know, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Start off with some eggs because obviously we're making eggs. And yeah. Okay, so we start out with three eggs because I'm just gonna make three eggs today because I got some other stuff that I might be making a little later. And uh, we crack them into this coffee cup instead of just straight into the bowl because you don't wanna get like, spill the egg yolk over and onto the stove and then have to clean the whole stove after you just, just cleaned it the last time. So it's a trick I learned from my grandpa crack them in the coffee cup and then scramble them up and then pour them in the pan. So then the worst thing you end up having to do is clean the counter. And uh, yeah, so eggs are really good. I really like eggs because they taste good. I mean, obviously. And also they're a really good source of protein. And um, I'm pretty sure I've heard they're a good source of cholesterol, which is uh, usually it's a bad thing, but like everything, you need to have certain things are really good for you and you need to have it in moderation. Okay, so now we got the, the pan. And I'm using this pan because, um, yeah, you'll see why. Later, I might be making something else with the pan. I think I will be making something else. And this is a good pan for it. So, got it heating up. We pour the eggs in there. Make sure they're nice and broken up because you don't want any. Oh, shoot. I forgot to spray the pan and the nonstick stuff. But um, that's not very healthy in case you didn't already know. But it certainly does help with cleanup later. Okay, so while it's cooking, Especially if you get to spray your non-stick stuff in. You gotta make sure to keep it moving so it doesn't stick to the sides, cook to the sides. Too bad I didn't have a third hand. I could show you what's going on in here. But basically, I'm just scraping the sides so it doesn't stick or cook to the sides in the bottom. And uh, we'll just wait for it to start hardening up because, I mean, you know, when you crack eggs, they're pretty watery, soupy looking. But when you cook them, you just wait for them to just firm up just a little bit. And then when you don't see, I like to do it when I don't see any more watery stuff. Then I turn off the heat because the residual heat or the heat that's just left over from cooking the eggs. We'll cook them a little bit more, right to where you want them at. All right, I think we're about there. So I'm gonna turn off and show you what they're looking like. So I turned off the heat because they're mostly all solid. Still mix them up a little bit just to get the residual heat just to finish them off. And that's pretty much it for the cooking part. It's really easy. All right, so those eggs were really good. They were kind of kind of uh, bland because usually when we make eggs, we put them with bacon and a tortilla and make a burrito. But this time, just had the eggs by themselves and they were a little bland. So I put on some medium salsa that we had in the refrigerator and I ate them. So 
Then we're on to the next thing, which is um, I like to do this when, like, when I go to the gym or something. Make some eggs and make some oats because the eggs are good protein and, and uh, cholesterol and they're really good for you. And then the oats give you some a little bit of carbs and stuff. And um, we also put some bananas, well, like half a banana and half of an apple in there. And uh, almond butter and cinnamon, and they taste really good. So these are the oats that I'm using down here, just the Quaker oats. Quick one minute oats thing. But when I was at home, I used to make these with a different kind of oats from Costco. And they were a little healthier, I think. But this is what we have down here. So go ahead and pour in the oats just to cover up the bottom of the pan. I mean, this is also depending on how much you want really do however much you want to eat that day. So first I put the oats in and then some almond milk because it's good for you. I put in enough to cover the bottom of the, the oats like to touch all of the walls of the pan which I mean it really doesn't matter how much you do. If you do more, then the oats be, are a little softer. If you do less, then they're a little bit more firm. These are just some, I like to get whatever apples are at the store. Like I think these are just honey crisp apples that came in a package at Costco. It really doesn't matter which apples you get. Cause I mean, apples are apples and they're good for you. Like I don't, I don't remember exactly what's in them specifically, but I mean, as you've probably heard, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? And even though, I did not mean to cut all the way through that, but even though apples have some sugar in them, they are still good for you because it's natural sugar. And normally I stay far away from any kind of sugar, but Natural sugar I make an exception with because it's natural. And it's uh, it's like the only real sweet thing that I eat are from fruits. So, I mean, you got to pick your battles. Because if you want to have sweets, fruits are the way to go. Because I don't know about you, but for me, what really helped with my diet and stuff is that I like to constantly be building on something or like working towards something. So I tell myself if I eat something bad, like sugary or something, then it's not, it's like not productive. It's like tearing down what I've built from eating healthy rather than building it more. That's just what works for me. That might work for you too. Like, I like to tell myself when I eat something or when I look at something sweet that might taste good, I tell myself that if I eat that, I'd be poisoning myself. Cause I mean, that's really what, um, synthetic sugar is. As you can see from just like seeing other people, sugar is not good for you. Unnatural sugar is very bad very unhealthy and uh, it leads to a lot of disease and sicknesses when you get older. So stay far away from it. And just by cutting out sugar, you'll notice a difference in how you feel, and how you look, and uh, you'll even lose a lot of weight if you just stop eating unnatural sugars. See, so yeah, I take this apple and I cut it in small chunks this way and this way. And take it over to the pan and dump it in. Next, before I turn on the heat, I put the cinnamon in, which really any ground cinnamon or anything will do fine. I like to do about eight shakes into there because, I mean, you really can't taste the cinnamon anyways. 
so do as much as you want and then I can mix it up get the cinnamon all over and uh, usually I would try to go a little quicker than this so then the oats would be less soggy because I let them sit and they probably they like to absorb the almond milk that we put in there and they get kind of soggy so yeah now we turn on the heat and I think I'll put this at like medium low and you just let it cook until you start to hear the boiling and once you hear the boiling, then you'll um, we'll put the banana in, and then we'll put the almond butter in. All right, so it's been about a minute or two, and as you can hear, it's kind of starting to boil. Sizzle, boil. So I just mix it up, and I'll give it like another 30 seconds. Actually, while that's cooking, we'll cut the banana, which uh, just get whatever bananas that you like to get. And I like to put half in. So just cut it right down the middle. I really like bananas. Yeah, bananas are a really good source of, uh, what is it, potassium. And uh, I really like the flavor of bananas. But I know some people, like I have a friend named Brandon who is deathly afraid of bananas. And it was so funny because one time we made a bet with him to, for something where he would have to eat a banana in uh, elementary school. And he lost the bet, so he had to eat the banana. And while he was eating it, his face turned purple. And yeah, it was just really funny. But, so you put half the banana in, you can cut it as big or as small in chunks as you want. And then I just turned off the heat, because it was pretty much done cooking. You could hear it sizzling. And uh, mix it up. And then now we'll go and grab the almond butter, which is my favorite part. We got our almond butter from Costco. I love this stuff. Almond butter is so addicting to me. I crave it all the time. And uh, it's super good in smoothies. Like if we just, if I want a snack later, I put some on the half an apple. The other half that we're not using for this. And uh, it's just so good. So basically, I just take a spoonful. This is, I would say, a, uh, what's the difference between a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a tablespoon, the bigger spoon. And uh, it is kind of sticky, especially when you get towards the bottom of the jar. So. Make sure after this that you soak your pan in water. Fill it up with water and let it sit if you're not going to clean it right away because it's a pain to clean if you don't. It really gets really sticky and it sticks to the side of the pan and it cakes on there. Okay, just like that, we've got our morning oats to go with um, the eggs. I like to make that because they go really well together and I mean, they fill you up really good. So yeah, try it out. Let's give it a taste test and see how it is. Mmm. It's kind of sticky. Mmm, you get the crunch of the apple. The, nut, the oats came out really soft this time. The almond butter, 
Oh my gosh, you can even taste a little hint of banana. Mmm. That's some good stuff. That's good stuff to eat right before, right after going to the gym. Probably better before because it gives you the carbs from the oats and um, to go and get your energy for the gym. But yeah, so anyways, that's going to be the cooking video today. I made some scrambled eggs and oats. It was pretty easy, pretty simple, but I mean, you just got to start with simple. This is like what I started making when I first started cooking, and uh, that was just recently. So I haven't expanded on much, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, this was kind of inspired by Sam the Cooking Guy. If you haven't heard of him or watched him, you should look him up. He's pretty funny. He's a chef. He's posts videos like this, and uh, he's a lot funnier, though, because he swears a lot, but he's down in San Diego, and my dad watched him for a long time, and he has a couple restaurants that we went to, and they were really good. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, share it with a friend, subscribe, join the Discord in the description. Let me know if you have any recipes you want me to try, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. This is what I'm talking about. Eating these oats, watching Fast and Furious. It's an amazing day outside. That's the life.